Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another cryptic TCG video. Today we're going over some common mechanics and abilities in the cryptic TCG. A total of nine abilities in the game that I think are most common and I think that every player should get to know and they're really easy mechanics to get to know. So let's just dive right in. Up first we have Eager. Citizens can attack the turn they are played and they can activate abilities the turn that they enter the island. You're going to see this ability mostly on citizen cards, but you can also see them on spell cards that will add the effect of Eager to the citizens. Think of Haste in Magic the Gathering. Up next we have Probe or Probe X, and it's really easy. You just draw X cards, whatever Probe X is, and then you discard the same amount of cards. This ability is really common in this game, and it's so easy to learn, so get to know it. It's really cool. It filters your deck. It helps you get the cards you need while you discard cards that aren't useful in the moment. Next, we have a citizen ability, Ravenous. With Ravenous, a citizen can target and destroy two 11-year cards when they're attacking. So you have to declare the 11-year cards you're targeting before the attack. If the attack goes through, during the damage resolution step, both 11-year cards will be revealed at the same time. Up next, we have a mechanic called Replace. When a card suggests to replace another card, you simply put the new card exactly where the Replace card was. Seems pretty straightforward. Up next is another very important, very common. You're going to see this in every single game. It's called Short Time. So if you're short on time, that means your opponent controls more 11-year cards than you do. And if you and your opponent have the same exact amount, then nobody's short on time. Next, we have a citizen ability called Sidestep. Only citizens with Sidestep can block other citizens with Sidestep. But that doesn't restrict a citizen with Sidestep. So if my citizen has Sidestep, that doesn't mean I can't block a creature without it. It just means in addition to those creatures without it, I can also block creatures with it. You're going to see sidestep a lot. Up next, we have an ability called Steadfast. A citizen with Steadfast, whenever it attacks, it doesn't cause the citizen to be engaged. So it won't tap. So think of it like Vigilance and Magic the Gathering. Really easy, just a different name. Up next, we have Tenacious. Tenacious is a citizen ability where the attacker must be blocked by two or more citizens. So Tenacious and Sidestep are essentially their forms of evasion. They're ways around your opponent's creatures without actually destroying them. Very good mechanics, and they're subtle. So your opponent can easily forget, oh yeah, it has Sidestep, and then boom, their 11-year card goes bye-bye. And the last mechanic I have here on the list is Toxic. Think of Toxic like Death Touch and Magic the Gathering. So any battle damage dealt to a citizen by a citizen with toxic will result in destroying this, that citizen. Pretty straightforward. Again, Tanner and the team did a really good job to choose the name of these mechanics and match them up with what they actually do. Replace, short time, sidestep, steadfast, tenacious, toxic, like eager. These are all words that were chosen specifically and it makes it so easy as a player to understand what they actually do but if you're new to the game you may not know them right away hopefully this video helps you if it does help you throw it a like button i appreciate it it'll encourage me to continue to make videos and a little like button goes a long way so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video